Hi, Year 12, this is Mr. Lim here again, and this is a video on the physical properties of esters. Let's get to it. Okay, so we're going to be learning about the physical properties, melting, boiling point, solubility, vapor pressure, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so the ester group does not add hydrogen bonding to the molecule, all right? So because of the ester group looks like this, where the carbon is double bonded to two oxygens, um, and the oxygen is not bonded to any hydrogens, there is no very... Uh, there is no very positive hydrogen. All right, since there's no very positive hydrogen, by itself, esters do not have hydrogen bonding. All right, um, what it does do is increase the dipole-dipole interactions between molecules of esters, which is you. All right, so um, they have a moderate melting boiling point due to increased dipole-dipole forces. So here you see that they say moderate dipole-dipole, okay? Um, and the melting boiling point, remember, is always dependent on the sum of intermolecular forces. Okay, so here we have lots of the things that we've dealt with so far except for the maybe the ethers which looks like this all right um but you can see that they've all got the same molar mass which means they've got same roughly or similar dispersion forces and then um in terms of like your aldehydes and your esters your aldehydes remember are on terminal carbons which means that they've got stronger dipoles than uh, esters which have the double bonded o and the o in the middle all right. Um, what you'll rem what you'll notice also is that oh, you've got ketones in there, and they apparently have a greater dipole than aldehydes. Why does the ketone have a greater dipole than aldehydes? Because what you've got to remember is that this will effectively create a trigonal planar shape around this uh, central um, carbon, and that trigonal planar shape will make that this part here the very negative part here and this side here, the very positive part. And so no matter how long these carbon chains are, this is going to be a uh, stronger dipole than an aldehyde group. And they all, since they don't, they all don't have hydrogen bonding, therefore they're going to just rely on which one is the, in terms of shape, the most strongest of dipole dipole. All right, and then you've got alcohols and your carboxylic acids, and we've dealt with those before. All right, so, uh, High melting boiling points in similar sized hydrocarbons derve and lower than similar sized alcohols. Right. So, presence of oxygen in molecule means that esters are reasonably soluble in water. So, solubility is again the ability to form uh, bonds of similar or greater strength between the solute and solvent. And remember, when we dealt with the structure of um, esters, you'll notice that this has four non bonding pairs of electrons, which means that all four of those can form hydrogen bonds with the hydrogens of water molecules okay so these water molecules can form hydrogen bonds with these lone pairs of electrons and since there's quite a few of them to be able to form bonds with it actually has a little bit of a greater solubility than uh, you'd expect okay so uh, it's got to do with those four lone pairs. Okay, so the hydrogen bonds can form between the water and the ester group, between the hydrogens of the water and the oxygens of the ester group. The larger the ester, the greater the effect that the hydrocarbon chain has. Again, so you can have more dispersion forces and therefore will have lower solubility. So just in general, the bigger things get, um, the lower their solubility is in water. Okay, so here's an interesting thing. Here we have ethyl methanoate which has three carbons and an oxygen, all right? Oh, sorry, and two oxygens. So that's five things. And so we would even be able to compare that with butanol, which has five, uh, four carbons and one oxygen. So that would mean that they're of similar size. And since that this ethyl methanoate actually has a higher solubility than butanol, and you uh, paste a, take note that this is one butanol, right? So it's on the end. It's actually got a larger degree of solubility because it can form more of those hydrogen bonds. And because it can form more of those hydrogen bonds, it's got a little bit more. Okay, butanol. If you draw the end of an alcohol group here, it's got one, two, and you've got the ability of the hydrogen. So you can form one. Uh, it can form hydrogen bonds from. Come on hydrogen bonds from that oxygen, from that lone pair, and from that hydrogen, but the ester can form more hydrogen bonds. One, two, three, four hydrogen bonds can form from that ester, okay? 
So that's why it's a little bit more soluble at similar sizes. Okay, um, let's move on. Uh, okay, so esters generally have high vapor pressure due to their relatively low sum of intermolecular forces. Again, you've seen this before. If you haven't, go watch one of the earlier videos on alcohols or something to talk about vapor pressure. All right. Um, esters will combust in oxygen but will not undergo oxidation or reduction using other common oxidizing or reducing agents so you can burn esters but nothing else all right and esters have a characteristic fruity odor okay so whenever you're talking about production of esters and this is a very common question in exams uh, that you'll be talking about oh it makes a fruity odor and that's your distinguishing factor to say that yes i have made an ester okay and that's it for physical properties amino acids last